Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Today I have a special lesson. Uh, I've been realizing recently that uh, I've, whenever I create a, a workflow that uh, that is based around social media, uh, I tend to do the last bit of the workflow the same. So I, I, I had the idea of what if I make a template out of that so people can uh, use that and just connect whatever whatever you create. So whatever post, whatever short, whatever uh, for whatever social media you create, data gets out of that, right? If finally, you have data about the caption, the image, the short, or whatever. You have data and then you want to schedule that uh, to 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 post on social media, right? Uh, but before before I tackle this issue, I want to point your attention that uh, finally I uh, created a, a a community for us all to to be in uh, the AI automation kit. It's now on school, uh, so I I invite you guys to join. There you will find courses and all of the workflows and blueprints that I use. Uh, but I think more importantly, uh, the fact that uh, you will all be in one community, uh, I will be there answering your questions, your technical uh, questions, uh, anything that you want, as, uh, along with other uh, instructors and other people who are experts in this field to, to help you uh, land your first client, to help you automate your daily work. Uh, so we can all grow together. Uh, of course, the, currently we're still in the launch phase. So uh, there is only 10 spots now available at a very, very reduced reduced price. So uh, I advise you, if you're watching now, just pause the video and just grab that uh, launch price because uh, whatever whatever price you lock now, it will be uh, it will it will stay like that. Uh, and, and you can benefit from that. But uh, if the 10 places are, uh, are filled, then the price will, uh, will uh, slowly increase uh, as, we, as we grow as a community. Uh, so uh, I will put in the link in the description below so you guys can, uh, can join and you'll find me there. I'm gonna see you there and welcome you there. Uh, all right, so getting back to the, to the workflow, I'm, I'm calling this, um, I'm gonna call this social media scheduler. All right, so let me explain what happens here. So uh, as I said, uh, we, we're getting data. So whatever data we get, whether it's from Superbase, whether it's from Excel, whether we, whatever data, whether it is from an RSS feed, whatever data we get, this is the source of data, okay? This node can be replaced with whatever database. It could be Airtable, Superbase, Google Sheets, RSS, whatever, even a webhook, okay? So you get data from here. And then once you get the data, you get data, uh, uh, split into items, right? If we go here and then we test this step, uh, you'll see that we'll have uh, three items. Uh, the, the the actual fields and layout is we have a created ad uh, field, we have a column, we have a media column, and we have a caption short and caption long. So caption long is for long form social media like LinkedIn, YouTube. Uh, short is for like X and uh, maybe Instagram. So whatever you want, we have two two versions to use. And then we'll have the media, it could be an image, it could be a video, whatever media that you can put in here, okay? And then the created ad is, the, uh, is when this was created. So what we're doing in Superbase, we are getting many rows, but we are doing some filtering. So uh, we have two types of filtering here. First, limit of 10. So I only want to get 10. And then this one, this uh, complicated whatever filter is. Uh, so this, what this does is it gets us all the items from today only. So uh, it gets us because if you're doing a lot, you don't want to get duplicates, right? And this scheduler here, schedule, uh, this only triggers once per day at a specific time, it goes ahead, gets every new 
post that was created only today. And then once we have that, we have three items, right? We have three items here uh, from, from our data, database. So what we want to do is we want to run this to schedule based on time. Okay, and here we have a node, a scheduler node. Now, what this node does, it's basically code, but don't be afraid. Uh, what this node does is it takes every item from here and then gives every item a specific date and time. Uh, the, the reason why is that we want to spread out our posts. So imagine we have three posts coming in and we want to schedule one for tomorrow, one for the day after that, and one for the day, day after that. And this is what this does. So if we play this, if we run this, we'll get three items here. So we'll get, um, as you can see, we'll get 31st and then 2nd of July. So it just, it knew that we had three items and it just scheduled those. Uh, it gave one day between each of these and this will keep on going no matter how many posts that you have, okay? So this is the result. We have three items. Uh, the data is from here and then the, the date comes from here. Now, what we wanna do next is actual schedule those. And within N8N, if you search here, like Instagram, you won't find all of the uh, of the nodes, right? There's Facebook, there's LinkedIn, but there's no Instagram. I don't know if there's Pinterest, there isn't. So you won't find every other social media in here because just in it, and as awesome as it is, it doesn't have many integrations yet. Now you can use API, uh, but I know as a non-coder, I just hate doing HTTP requests. Uh, so there's two ways to do that. There's the make and there's bl the blotator way. So a blotator, what blotator is, is a website that schedules social media posts on all your social media. So basically you sign up for the website and you hook in all your social media. And then through API, you can send everything uh, via automation to blotator and then it will schedule all of those. So the, the first node here that we have is a node that uploads, uh, it basically uploads uh, whatever media that you have. So basically if we, this is, this is a request, this is a post request because we're sending something to the server, to the computer that is on the cloud. Uh, we're sending, so this is the endpoint. If you, if uh, I uploaded a, in a, a video about HTTP requests where I go over that. So if, if you haven't <coughs> watched that, please do. So basically here you, you are going to send your authentication. Uh, so you will have the, uh, the header and the, uh, the, API, the API key that you will get from the website. And then since this is a post, we're probably gonna send a body. And uh, the body is we send it through JSON and what we're sending is the URL and we're sending the, uh, the media field that we got from the Superbase one. Okay, the media field. So we're uploading that to Blotato and then we'll tell them Blotato, hey, schedule that across all of these. So we have the Instagram one. This is the endpoint. We'll do the same. And then the, the body would be that uh, you'll need to hook in your ID here. So every account that you add will have an ID. You can hook that in. And then the text will take the caption long. And then the media will take the, uh, the media URL that is coming from here. And then the schedule time will take it from the scheduler that we have here. And we'll do the same for all three. So once I hook that in here, I can run this and it will schedule across all of those in Blotato. Now, what if you don't have Blotato and you don't want to deal with that? The other uh, way to do that is through make.com. Now, the reason why is because make has so many integrations has basically all social media integrations in there. You don't have to do any API, uh, uh, API, a, any HTTP request. And the way to do that, you just need to make, uh, you just need to, uh, to send your information using get to the, uh, to the webhook. So if you go here, this is the, uh, this is the blueprint that I have. So it has a webhook, it starts with a webhook, you copy this uh, URL 
and then you paste it here and you send in your query parameters. Now, what are the query parameters? We're gonna send the caption long, caption short, and then the date. Basically every information that we have from here. Now, once I send this, if I connect this and I send this through this path, I go here and I sent it once, as you can see, here you, you will, we will receive it and we'll have all the data that we got and with the date. Now here I have a, uh, a sleep node, but it has a, ver uh, it has a random. Now the reason why, uh, what this does is basically it just waits a variable amount of time each time this is called. So imagine I have three posts and those three posts come in here. Then the first post goes in and then it waits uh, a random amount of uh, time in here in seconds and then it proceeds. The other one doesn't go in the same time. So, so the reason why is so that it doesn't feel like it's spam or robotic or uh, automated. This way gives it more organic approach so that it waits a variable amount of time each time that there is something to post. Now after that, we can just connect these and basically I have LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram and then you can hook in everything. And I added a, uh, a safe mechanism here, which is ignore because if whatever error happens in here, I, want, I don't want the whole workflow to stop. I want to ignore and continue to the second one. And if this happens an, an error as well, ignore and goes to the third one. That way we'll, we'll have at least the most amount of uh, social media uh, posting, uh, even if one fails. Okay, so this is the make one. The reason why we went to make in the first place because make has a lot of already made integration that are easy to integrate, okay? And we did that through a simple get HTTP request where we just put in the webhook URL here and we sent in all the information that we got from here. All right. So to recap, what is this for? So basically this is the end of every uh, social media uh, automation workflow. The end, which is uh, scheduling and posting all of your uh, data. So whether you're getting it from your database, whether you're getting it from an RSS feed, whether you're getting it from a webhook, you will get data somehow. And once you get the data, you'll just need to plug it into the scheduler where it just takes that data and spreads it across the days ahead. And then you choose whether you want to go with the Blotato method or if you want to go with the make.com method, okay? <clears throat> Each one, of course, has its benefit. If you already have a make account, and 1000 credits for free per month is enough for you. You can go through that path. But if you are more that you have a company, you have an agency and you have tons and tons of posting that you do per day, then maybe the Blotato method is better because it connects into so many social media and it's very streamlined. All right, so what I'll do, I'll save this workflow and I'll save this blueprint and I'll put them the, and I'll put them in my community for you to access and for you to use, uh, uh, of course, whenever you want. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can ask in the community. If if you have problem running this, you can ask in the community. You will find me there uh, along with other instructors. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more videos, and I see you in the next one.